A lot of people my age use their free time to play video games or stuff like that, and I uh, use that free time to develop a skill that I can use for the rest of my life and then improve myself. It's always a challenge that I can't drive, so I have to always, I'm always waiting for people to come pick me up and take me places, so I have to rely on other people. So that's kind of hard, not having my own freedom. I've never really talked about what I do with my friends. They don't really know, but I guess they'll know now. My dad always believed that, you know, the customer is king and do it the right way the first time, get a good reputation. So ever since I started doing my own things, he was there the whole time. Like, it's going to be better in the long run to, you know, spend an extra hour making things right rather than them being unhappy and then you have to come back and fix it and then you just get a bad reputation. It's more important to do it right the first time. The way I got into Volvo equipment started with buying a, an L90C at an auction. After that point, uh, Lance was watching uh, YouTube channels like uh, Let's Dig 18 and a lot of the marketing videos from Volvo and he insisted that I take a look at those videos and, and Volvo machines. So uh, yes, I do listen to, to Lance on his equipment recommendations and uh, he's extremely knowledgeable and he's always challenging me on my belief about a machine's horsepower or digging depth or weight, etc. And, and telling me why one machine's better than another. And so uh, at first I thought that was amusing. But later on I, I've come to just, you know, he's my Bible when it comes to machine specs. I don't even have to look at them anymore. I don't spend any time researching them unless I'm really getting serious about buying one, then I'll take a look at it. And usually that's together. I just looked up Volvo excavators and in Lustig 18 he was good because I like he has good technique and all that so I could like follow some of his tips when I was like starting out. Like, he is like really methodical and he's just he's a really good operator, he's smooth, he's like takes care of the equipment really good. Well when I was little honestly it was just because their videos had cool music and they looked really nice. But then once I started to run them I they were like really comfortable, like they're fast, they're smooth. They're, they're just, they're pretty dependable. They're just, it's just all there. Years ago, Dwayne would come out, come to work and he'd bring Skiggy, we'd call him Skiggy, bring him out to work with Dwayne and ride there for hours. And I think he was uh, seven or eight. We came out here and Dwayne started this process here. And Dwayne told me to teach him if you see him doing anything that's uh, not good or bad habits or, or not taking care of the equipment right to, to teach him. So we did it. I did it. Dwayne did it. It's the kind of work where you learn something every day. You, you improve on your, what you do, but Skiggy was always a good one to listen. <laughs> 